Hey everybody, it's Luke from Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from Little Elf. This is their IP wireless pan and tilt camera. You can check it out on Amazon at the time of this review for $59. I'll have that link in the description below where you guys can check it out. I'm going to dig into this, so sit back and relax, and I'll be right back. Let's take a quick look at the specs on the back here. The model number is LF-P1S. It does have a resolution of 1280 by 720, so 720p. The lens is at 3.6 millimeters. It does have IR LEDs, 11 of those around, so that you can use this for night shooting as well. Frame rate is going to be 25 frames per second during the day and 20 frames per second at night. Uh, video codec is going to be H.264. You're going to have a wired Ethernet connection, RJ45, if you want this wired, but it also features wireless at 802.11 uh, BGNN at 2.4 gigahertz. It will not work with 5 gigahertz. Your pan and tilt uh, horizontal is going to be 350 degrees and vertical is going to be 105 degrees. Uh, it does have a uh, ability for local storage. You can use a micro SD card uh, at 100 or up to 128 gigabytes. Once you get everything out of the box, this is what you're going to get. Of course, you're going to get the main unit itself. Uh, you're going to get a box that's going to have your uh, power supply and cable. Uh, you're going to get some mounting hardware in this box. Uh, which is actually pretty cool. They give a little bit of extra mounting hardware for this to be mounted either to a wall or a ceiling, uh, depending on how, where you want this to go and what you want to view. Uh, it's nice that they include it. They do uh, give us a uh, power brick here to plug this in. Uh, it's a DC 5 volt at 2 amps. So you have your power brick here. You're not going to need to supply one on your own. So that's cool. And they also give us a, a flat ribbon style cable. It is a, a USB to micro USB cable uh, that comes in the box. Uh, and this cable is nice. And I'll tell you why. Because it's super long. So if you need to mount it on the ceiling or something like that, uh, you're going to get that type of uh, length out of the cable to do so. You can also use any USB to micro USB cable you want. So if any anything happens to it, it's standardized and you can use it. Now they give you a fold out here. It is not in English. Uh, they didn't send me an English one, uh, so I'm not going to spend too much time on it, but it just has the basics, uh, how to hook it up to an outlet, how to hook it up wired if you want to, um, you know, uh, that type of thing. Uh, but it's, it's, not, it's not bad. It's just uh, not in my preferred language and that's okay. Uh, but hold on to it because, again, uh, these are going to have uh, some information in it that you're going to want to know about. And uh, most likely it was just an oversight on their part that they sent me one that was not in English. Okay, so let's take a look at the main unit itself. And this is a nice and compact unit. It feels very sturdily built as well. You can see that there are some uh, speakers on the sides as well as the back. Your lens in the front with IR LEDs around that lens for night viewing. Uh, you're going to have a notification LED in the front and you're going to have a audio button, which is to uh, talk to whoever may be listening to it. Uh, you're going to have a nice ring on the bottom to keep it in place on your table. And of course, it does pan and tilt uh, 350 degrees and 105 degrees. On the back, you're going to have a reset button on the right. You're going to have a micro SD card slot that supports up to 128 gigabyte cards. And you're going to have a wired LAN connection there if you don't want to do it wireless. And you're also going to have your power connection here, which is micro USB. Okay, so once you get it hooked up to power, what's going to happen is it's going to uh, take about 20 seconds or so to turn on and you're going to get a little orange blinking light in the front, which means it's ready to be hooked up. Uh, and I'm going to show you uh, what the app looks like real quickly, just going through setup. I'm not going to go through everything, but I do want to kind of touch base on it just so that you can see. You can go to the uh, App Store uh, or Google Play and get the Little Elf app here, and that's what we're going to use. 
issues. Now, once you get into this, uh, there are no cameras. You're going to have to hit the plus button up in the upper right hand side and you're going to have to sign up for an account uh, to get started. Uh, and then you're going to have some things down here below like my camera, the album, if you snap some pictures or take video that are stored to the phone. Uh, and it's going to give you an idea of either whether you want to hook up via Wi-Fi or wired mode. Uh, you can just hook this right into your router if you want to, or you can do this in wireless mode, which is what we will do. So it's telling me to uh, hit the reset button for about two seconds so that that light uh, turns orange. So uh, we're going to do that real quick. Uh, although we are already set up, I want to make sure that we go through the whole thing for you just so that you can see it. Uh, and we'll just hold this down. Uh, it will make a sound uh, after you hold it down for a few seconds. Uh, and then we will be good to go. So once you see that light, you can hit the next button there. Uh, and what's going to happen here is it's going to ask you uh, for your uh, Wi-Fi and of course for your Wi-Fi password. So I'm gonna enter my Wi-Fi password and then click next. And once I do that, it will upload the information to the device and then you will be good to go for a live video viewing. Okay, so once you get your Wi-Fi password in there, you're gonna see now it's blinking green and it's ready to go. And we are viewing live here. Uh, you can see that I can uh, touch the screen to move it if I want to. It'll first ask you to set up a panoramic view of whatever you're uh, watching. So if you want to quickly go to any of those spots in the room, you can. Uh, if I want to uh, go over to this side of the room, I just click here and it will automatically track back to that side of the room. Uh, and then uh, if I want to say go back to my little Doctor Strange uh, guy over here on the left, I can click there uh, and it will track back to uh, Dr. Strange. So it remembers the room when you first set it up if you want it to for quick and easy access in portrait mode. Uh, you can see that on the left hand and the um, bottom part of the video itself, it actually has the degrees that the camera is pointed at at that time. Now you're going to notice that there's a, an audio button down here and I have it muted uh, because if you have it right next to the camera, you're going to get a lot of uh, audio feedback, but you can just speak into your phone and it will come out on the camera. So you've got that right there. And if you hit that button on the front, you can also speak to your phone as well. You can uh, snap pictures. Uh, you can um, also uh, take video as well and you can change your uh, quality of your stream either adaptive uh, standard definition or high definition now when you turn this it, the interface changes a little bit uh, you'll be able to uh, just uh, pan and tilt with your finger if you want to uh, so if I want to do that it's very simple and very easy uh, they are also they also have this uh, effect as well uh, that we'll get into in just a second which is kind of like a photosphere effect uh, that you'll see right now uh, so now it's got all of that there and as I pan up and down it kind of fills in uh, that photosphere uh, so it looks really cool when they did I, I kind of like how they integrated this in now it does take a few uh, moments over Wi-Fi uh, to to uh, refresh the image in that mode, but it is a pretty cool mode and uh, the video is pretty uh, clear and crisp. Any lines that you see on my phone from the video is the overhead LED uh, lighting that I have interfering with my camera lens. Uh, you will not see that on your product. But very easy, again, to uh, navigate up and down or left or right, depending on how you want to do it, just from the screen there. Uh, they, they make it pretty fluid and pretty easy. Again, this is, is very, very simple to use uh, if you uh, want to use it. Uh, like this in a uh, landscape mode as well. And I like the fact that they've changed it to kind of fit landscape a little bit better uh, with it being finger friendly this way uh, and just, you know, swiping to go over things that we need to go over. So overall, I think they did a solid job on the camera and the app fits it as well. I'm definitely going to give this a thumbs up. One last thing to note, if you are going to snap a picture, it will save it locally to your phone, but you do have that micro SD card slot on the back that will uh, take pictures and actually uh, save them for you and video. It does have motion detection as well built in, uh, so you can supply your own micro SD card slot for local storage. They don't offer any cloud storage as of right now. 
So there you go. That's my review of the Little Elf a Pan and Tilt Wireless IP Camera. Again, you can check it out on Amazon at the time of this review for $59. I'll have that link in the description below for you guys to check it out. If you have any comments or questions about this camera, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. Remember to like, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so because that always helps me out, and I'll check you guys out on the next video.